This is a spectrometer, and it will forever change how I work as a professional videographer. As I'm getting paid to shoot videos for clients, I'm always on the hunt to level up my skills as well as my toolkit. And when I got my hands on a spectrometer, I almost felt ashamed that I didn't start to use one sooner when I realized just how important this thing is. So today I'm going to share what it is, why I think you should consider getting one even if it's fairly expensive, and how to best use it. I'm even going to go out on a limb and say that it might even be one of the most underrated tools for any serious videographer. A spectrometer is a device that can measure the strength, the quality and the waveform of a light source. That last bit is really important, and if we, for the sake of it, say color instead of waveform, it becomes a little bit more clear why this tool is so important. With the spectrometer, we can measure the amount and the quality of the color of any light source. We can also measure the strength of that source. So with that spectrometer, we also get control over all the light sources in our scene. A, a color or a light source that we actually can't control by definition, sunlight, but now we can measure it. As well as all the artificial lights that we usually add to shape the feel of a scene. Key light, hair light, kicker, practical, practical, and an ambient light source. With that spectrometer, we get control of all the light sources, the color, the quality, and the strength, with just one click. Or to put it in plain English, it measures hue and saturation of any light source, either continuously or with the click of a button. So now when you know what it is, why do you need one? with the risk of offending half of YouTube. I will humbly state that I can spot a real professional videographer from a YouTuber with the phrase, just set your lights to 5600 Kelvins and your camera to the same and start shooting. How do you know that your lights even output 5600 Kelvin when you set them to that? And how do you know that the accuracy of the white balance of your camera is close enough? The short answer is, you don't. So if you really want to know, which you do if you are a professional videographer and not a YouTuber, you need to measure. And that's why we need a spectrometer. Let's look at it from a different perspective and compare colors with highlights. Most of us know that if we're clipping our highlights, there is no way to recover that in post. So most of us spend a lot of time ensuring that we nail that exposure. But what if I told you that you could clip your colors? Let's say, for example, that there is no red color spectrum when you're capturing a specific scene. Then there is going to be no red color, which makes it impossible to recover any red color when doing it in post-production. So, and that will make it impossible to sort of nail good skin colors. So if you have a certain sort of footage that, where you feel that no matter how you, how you try to correct it or how you sort of move around your colors and to try to sort of save a footage from looking, well, bad or just off, you might have a problem with sort of lacking colors, the full spectrum in your light sources. A spectrometer is therefore not just a device for light and color, it is also a device for accuracy and repeatability. And with that repeatability, I believe that we get access to one of the most important aspects to be able to level up our skills as videographers. Consistency. Using a spectrometer is really easy and at the same time fairly difficult. Taking the actual measurement is super straightforward. It's basically point and click. Understanding what to do with that measurement, that's where the difficulty comes in. Either to use that information to shape our scene when we are capturing it, or how to work in post-production to ensure that we get exposures, color fidelity in relation to the product we are working on. If you are new to using a spectrometer, I would first recommend to measure the accuracy of your light source. Uh, 
I was very surprised when doing this of my own light source and found out that my professional Aperture 600X as well as the Aperture 300X that I'm using today were almost 1000 Kelvin off the mark. But the much cheaper Ameren 300C were more or less spot on. More on that in a future video, because I, I just fell down a rabbit hole with that one. I like to think about the typical usage is to balance our scene, not only with exposure, light and shadow, but also with the quality and color and temperature of our light source. Instead of just slapping on a hair light to set it to warm, I can measure the amount of color and the spectrum of that color from the sun coming in from a window and then match that to my hair light to so get a full balance of our scene. And if you, for example, are shooting a typical corporate videographer and say, I never shoot in sunlight, I'm always sort of blocking out and controlling. I dare you to measure the quality of different light in a conference room, a reception or a meeting room and all those different variations of, of scenes that we end up in as a corporate videographer. And you will surprise just how much color you're gonna lack in some spectrum in some rooms. So a spectrometer is super helpful. I will definitely use a spectrometer for all future professional work and I will probably geek out on my YouTubes as well. So now when you have a good understanding of the importance of color and balance in your scenes and how to use a spectrometer to measure that, you need to ensure that you nail that exposure, which is even more important if you film in log. And then I think you will find this video helpful.